Hello, welcome. This is a video on how to divide a line into an odd number of equal sized parts. Um, before we get into that though, we need to learn a little bit about the tools that you were sent home with. So, got some triangles, got these little triangles. Got a ruler, it's for measuring. And the new tool is this T-square. And we've also sent you home a board. So, the secret to a T-square to keep everything true and accurate if you're right-handed, the T-square should go on the left side of your board, and you have to make sure it sits tight against the board. It can't do this. If it does that, it's no longer accurate. If you are left-handed, your T-square should go on the right side of the board and be flipped around. And again, it should remain steady against the board. Because I'm right-handed, my T-square is on the left side of the board because I control it with my left hand. The next thing we have to do is take our paper and align it with our T-square. So I'm going to align it with the bottom of the T-square because it's easier. And all I need to do is pull this up, and as you can see, I just align it with the bottom of the T-square. Once that's done, I take little tiny pieces of tape, and I just tape down all four corners. Now when I say little tiny pieces, you don't need a lot of tape. You need little tiny pieces. And what this will do is keep the paper from moving, because once we get our paper taped down, we're going to be good to go. So now I've got my paper taped down on all four corners. The next thing I'm going to do is just, just going to draw a random line. There it is. Don't need to know how long it is, but there's my line. Now that line has a distance. So say I want to divide this line into three pieces. That's going to be a little tricky because my line right now is exactly, wow, well, it's this, I can't even measure it with this. That's crazy. It is less than an inch and a half. It's more like an inch and seven sixteenths. Well, how do I divide the line equally into an inch and seven sixteenths when my ruler doesn't even measure that? Well, here's how we do that. We're going to follow the steps that I gave you in the notes. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a line at a right angle to our given line. So I'm going to take my triangle. Again, I wouldn't make this line very big, or the line, original line very big. Sit your triangle on top of your T-square. So it should sit like really nice against the T-square. You should not butt up against it, and you should have, so it lines up perfect. Make sure your T-square is against the table. And because we drew that line with a T-square, a right angle will be straight down. So now that I have that, that's the end of my first step. Here's my given line. Here's the line that I've made perpendicular. The next is we need to determine in our step number two how many divisions we need. We've determined that already. I gave that to you as three pieces. I would like you to try a three-piece and a five-piece. Next, we're going to use the other end of our given line. This is where it gets a little confusing. I'm going to go from this end of the line in our step number C, and I'm going to go down this line until inches on this ruler matches the number of pieces I need. So I'm going to take my pencil as a placeholder. We've done this before. It's a placeholder. I'm going to lay my zero against my pencil. I'm going to rotate this ruler around until the number three of my inches hits that vertical line that I drew earlier. And I'm going to draw a line that looks like this. I'm not going to move. So that line now is exactly three inches long. And what that's going to allow us to do is project back up to divide this given line into an even or into an odd number of equal size pieces. I'm going to mark off my divisions. I'm just going to put a little tick mark here and a little tick mark here. And I'm going to pull my ruler away. Now what I'm going to do is in step E is I'm just going to project back up making sure that my T-square is against the, my board, making sure my triangle is against my T-square, and all I have to do is draw a line here, draw a line here, and now all three of those pieces are exactly the same length. So to label this stuff, we're going to label this as so we know what the heck it is in our directions manual, oops, given, our given line. Next, we're going to label this as step A because that was the perpendicular line that we made. So put a little arrow there so we can see that. B was determine the number of pieces. So there's B. C, I'm going to put a little mark here and call this line C and D because that line's three inches long and I marked out the divisions along that line. And then Step E, our final step, was that. So I hope that helps. Remember, keep your T-square hard against your table or your, your board. Make sure that the triangle sits firmly against the T-square so that it stays perpendicular to the line that we drew. And your original line should be drawn with the T-square. Watch this video often. 
review it, rewind it. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or violent disagreements, please reach out and ask. I look forward to helping you.